Hi guys, I will be doing a video on how to crack the credit card. Uh, I found that there is no specific uh, video available on how to crack the credit card uh, and then got some but in bits and pieces uh, the information so I would like to tell you and share information how actually you can crack the credit card and even though definitely it is not easy otherwise any Tom, Dick and Harry would have cracked the credit card you require a very deep understanding of the principle of the mathematics involved uh, to crack the credit card <coughs> or even to hack the uh, you know email and uh, all these uh, informations if you want to get in that case you require the, the very strong uh, background of mathematics mm. the reason why I am doing this video is very often my colleagues my friends they always ask me I never care for money uh, you know if in, in Nila University if I'm supposed to work for more or if I'm supposed to give lecture for more than 18 hours per week I am always eligible to do the claim overtime claim but I never claim it and you know they always sort of think why I never claim for money but then I always keep on telling to them well I don't care about money because a mathematician can make money at their will even though I'm not a professional mathematician I'm still in the amateur stage but I still strongly believe that I can make money at my will and uh, if I really want, I can do so. And I will give, or rather I will tell you some of the tricks of, of earning money uh, by, by non-ethical means, uh, not by ethical way. Okay, so how to crack a credit card or the debit card. So all these uh, credit card numbers or the debit card numbers, they've got this number which ranges from 12 to 19 digits. Like, you know, the MasterCard or the Visa will have the 16-digit code and the American Express, it has got the 15-digit code. And the first digit is the Major Industry Identifier, MII, we call it. It indicates the category of the entity which has issued the card. It could be like, you know, banking sector, petroleum sector, uh, like any of the audio shopping uh, center which has issued you some card. So that the first digit identifies that particular entity. Now the first 15 numbers are actually issued by the bank and uh, it is the last number which we call the check digit. Now it is, uh, we've got an exact mathematical way to generate this check digit and it is done by the use of an algorithm called, uh, I, I, I can't exactly, I, I think it is called Loon, uh, yeah, Loon algorithm and it, it works on the module uh, 10 algorithm so how exactly it is is like you know you will have this number in your ATM card or your credit card I hope I got my card so you can see here the last digit is actually the check uh, digit so if you take this last, last digit and then each of these, you know, the, the consecutive digits and then you need to multiply them with the <coughs> 5 and then you will come up with that answer. Now if that is a 2 digit number, you need to add these two things up and then and the other one the remaining one will keep it as it is and then we need to you know sum it up and the number final number we will end up getting should be divisible by 10 and if it is not divisible by 10 that means it is not the correct number so how can we actually generate or the bank actually generate this number okay let's look into that that is the main thing so and that is what it is required to crack the credit card and even this last last digit is what makes the your credit card different from the other card so it is exactly this last digit the, the check digit okay so we'll try to look into how to crack the credit card and the answer lies in elliptical curve so elliptical curve is a curve in the form of x square is equal to y q minus 3x plus b written in terms of module p where p is the prime number so what exactly it is? Let's say if you, if you, if someone asks you, you know, what's the time? And let's say the time is 2 p.m. 
what exactly 2 pm represent is 14 so 14 is equal to 2 in module uh, 12 so 14 divided by 12 is equal to whatever and the remainder is 2 so the 2 is that is why we call it 2 so 14 is equivalent to module 2 now in our clock we got 12 as the reference point we can take any other point as reference as well and if we use prime number as the reference point in that case we'll end up getting a very random number and if that prime number is very 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 big we'll end up generating lots and lots and lots of random numbers without having you know if you just glance at them you won't find any relationship among them so we have got a uh, we have got an elliptical curve given by the equation x square is equal to yq minus 3x plus uh, b and we need to find out the value of x and y which will satisfy this curve now the solution or the value of x and y is already given actually and it is in the public domain so all the banks or, or any other department which issues some credit card debit card they need to follow this particular equation it is there the solutions are given as well x and y so you have got the x and y and the x and y represent certain point in this elliptical curve and then let's say this is one point and i can get one more point if let's say with x and y i am i am able to or i manage to get another points now if i can manage to get the distance between these two points in that case i would know exactly what this curve represent or what is the actual formula for the curve because i told you the the equation is x square mi equal to y cube minus 3x plus b and written in terms of the module of the prime number so b is unknown to me and if i need to go to the correct equation i need to find out the value of b and to get the value of b i need to know this okay so this is the standard algorithm and this is called it is given in the public domain and while uh, while, while doing this video i i tried to check the similar video done by number philly and uh, it is called uh, this algorithm is called the dual elliptic curve uh, deterministic random generator so it will generate random numbers okay so we'll get some numbers which are totally random now solutions are given and then we can generate each of these numbers now each bank can run its like you know it can, it can run its own machine to generate these random numbers but then the basic number based on which it will run the machine it will be different for different banks and that's why all the banks will end up having a different numbers so solution of x and y at two points if you can manage to find so you'll get the relationship between x and y at one point and x and y in other, at other point so this will give us the relationship between the two numbers and if we can manage to get the relationship between numbers and we need to use some bit of reverse engineering and then we will use it to get the exact equation now if you can generate this exact equation you can get all the numbers on your own and you can generate the random numbers on your own that means you will know all the numbers given in the credit card and you can generate your own numbers so if the banking sector is issuing some numbers you know you get your otp and all this stuff so actually you know exactly what otp the bank is going to send you so you manage to crack the credit card or the debit card but it is not not at all easy it might take years to get the exact relationship okay so that's all for me 
bye bye